Hi there, today we're unboxing a digital thermostat. So that this particular product is gonna be replacing my existing underfloor heating thermostat. And the advantage of this particular one is you can control it over Wi-Fi. So you can remotely connect to it and make changes. So details are in the description below. So let's take a quick look around the packaging. It comes in a compact box, some details there about the product. So it has an LCD display, selectable for both heaters and air conditioners. It's got a timer on off, manual or automatic mode and a lock function on there as well. Okay, let's come around, show some details on the side. And that's it. Okay, very simple. Let's open it up, see what we get in the packaging. Okay, so I've laid out all the items you get in the packaging, so let me quickly go through them one by one. You've got a cable which has a sensor on there, and that sensor is used for telling the thermostat the temperature of your underfloor heating. Lengthwise, it's 2.7 meters in length. Cables are quite thin in connecting it, and that's sort of standard on these products. The actual sensor itself has a metal plate around it, and build quality seems reasonably good. Got some fixtures, so two screws to enable you to attach this. Then you've got two pieces of documentation. So initially you've got what they've said, heating thermostat Wi-Fi debugging diagram. The details of the app you're supposed to install and details of actually using the app. Okay. Next, you've got a, a manual. Just details on using the thermostat. And then you've got installation details, wiring diagram, and dimensions. Okay, and all is in English, so that's good. Next, the actual digital thermostat itself. Build quality seems good. 1G, obviously, size to it, so one gang. Size-wise, pretty deep. And this is sort of standard. I've had a few of these, which I've tried out. So just to show, you're saying about four and a half centimeters in total, but the actual depth going in would be about two and a half. In terms of length, we're saying about eight and a half by eight and a half. And obviously you've got the LCD screen there. Details on the back, let me just zoom in and show. So it's saying AC 230 volts, IMAX, 16 amps ip20 you've got one and two which is the heating mat where it's con connected three and four neutral and live and then ntc is the actual thermostat so the cable that's there and it just gets con connected just here so seems pretty straightforward nothing too complex and obviously i'm just replacing my existing one Okay, and looking at the bottom, looks like you've got a room sensor just here, and you've got clips there and there. So these have to be pushed in to allow you to actually take the cover off to enable you to mount it. So I've got my ruler here, I'm just gonna push the ruler in to enable me to take okay, it out. Okay, so I've pushed the two tabs off camera, just easier to do without the camera in the way, and this reveals obviously the circuitry on the thermostat and the installation points. So quite straightforward, obviously install it, screw the two bits on and then push the plate back on the top. So pretty straightforward to replace. Okay, so I'm at my existing underfloor heating controller. Power's been isolated off on there. So as you can see, the display is completely off and I've popped open the top so I can just take the screws off. So let me take the screws off so we can take the existing controller off. Okay, so now the screws are off. Let me come in closer here. You can just see how it's connected up. So you've got the sensor here, the load is on the side, and the middle is live and neutral. So I'll just remove these screws, and then we can make a start at installing the new controller. Okay, so the controller's off, and just to show, the new controller is similar in size, and should be straightforward to replace. So I'm not gonna pull the sensor out, we're gonna try and use the existing sensor and just wire in all the existing wires into it, so less to really do with this.
Okay, so now, as you can see, the cable's all connected up. So the sensor's in there. We've got our live neutral going there. And the load is there for the actual heating mat. So we'll just put this back into okay, place. Okay, so the actual thermostat's connected now. So I can actually power it on. Okay, so the power's turned on to the controller again. So if I press the button here, just to confirm it, it turns on. So there you go, it's turned on. Uh, we can set the temperature, simple as that. And we'll turn it down so it's not on at the moment. Okay, so now the thermostat's installed, let's take the cover off the actual screen. Okay, so let's make a start at setting up this thermostat. So I've got my Android phone here. Let's go to the Play Store and type in Room Heat EU. Now, the top app is the one they recommend installing in the instructions, but I have tried it and it is very unstable. So if we look down, there's another one called Be OK Home. So let's go for that one. And I found that a little bit more stable. So let's click Install, give it a moment to install. Okay, the app's installed, let's click open. First thing it is, it's asking to allow permissions to make and manage phone calls, allow and allow access to photos, media, media and files on the device. I can understand this one, perhaps to save the config on the phone, but the previous one, I don't understand why it needs access to that. So let's allow this anyway, give it a moment. Okay, so it's ready now. So if I click on configure, accept the privacy agreement. So let me type in my Wi-Fi password off camera. Okay, so I've typed in my Wi-Fi password, ready to start configuring. So now if we go over to the controller and if I hold on to the down arrow and power, we've gone into a configuration mode here. And if you see here, you have an option so if I go to the one that says FAC which is factory default if I keep going it's that one there and we change this number to 10 if I click the off button now it should reset it so now if I click that and that this is rapidly blinking away the actual Wi-Fi indicator so now if I go back to my phone and just click start connection and let's give it a moment Okay, so it's saying success on my phone. So if I go back, let's click on the search button and there you go, it's appeared. So that's the actual thermostat. So let's click on it and click on it one more time. And there you go, we've got into the interface now. So let me show you around the interface, pretty straightforward to use. So it's got a slider bar here. And if I move that and you look on the screen, you see the temperature's changed, if I move it back up you can see that indicator indicates the heating's on and the temperature's 24 looking back at the app you can see there's an error occasionally do you do get this for some reason not sure why it doesn't really seem to cause any sort of issue but I was getting that on the previous app as well I guess it's very similar okay so another thing to show if I take down the temperature look in your phone and you can see the temperature hasn't changed. So it doesn't push the details back. So you've got to click on the refresh in the corner. Okay, got an error. Let's click it one more time. And there you go, it's appeared. It's at 18 degrees on there. If we look below, we've got a down arrow and an up arrow, and that actually changes the temperature by half a degree. Down and upwards as well. Okay, looking down, the time and date, they're incorrect. So there's a time icon here. If I click that, it synchronizes it and it's correctly sets the time and day on the actual thermostat. We've got a lock icon here. So if you had young children who'd mess around with the buttons, if I come over to here now, I can't change the temperature. And if I go back to the app and unlock it, you can see it's now possible to change the temperature. Okay, next one is an anti-freezing option. 
that's if you're using it for a water heating system but where i'm not going to be using it for that so just to show icon does come on doesn't do anything let's turn it off okay that's turned off below there's a slider with times on there if i click on there let's try again okay had to hold on to it to, for it to appear okay so this says set week program data loop so this is your timer for the week so if you look below during the working day program set so period one two three four five six so these are different periods during the day and you can have it setting to a certain temperature during those times so you can adjust the times and the temperatures obviously and weekend program data set at the bottom so you can amend that as well so on the weekend you could have different uh, start times and end times and different temperatures so I'll give you an example if you're home all weekend if you look at the bottom you could say at eight o'clock in the morning start up and maintain that temperature and in the evening just set it down to a low temperature so seems quite straightforward let's go back Try again. Oh, came out. Let's go back in. Okay, looking at the bottom, you've got a button called power. If I click that, it powers it off. And if you look at the display, the display's turned off, meaning it's just turned off the heating system. If I click it again, give it a moment, it's turned on. And there you go, display's come back. Now, looking at the button next to it, Oh, another message, error message. You've got a button called automatic. So this is the timer. If I set it, click it and it sets itself to manual. So that's where the timer doesn't kick in and it just works manually. Let's give it a moment. Click it again. And there you go, it's set to manual. So timer's not in effect and whatever temperature is set, it will just stay at that. So it won't turn off or on. It will just be stuck at that okay let's set it back to automatic and senior if we click on that one give it a moment see if anything appears and I found that one doesn't really show anything I have seen it appear once some configuration options but it is a bit flaky like I've already said okay so let's come out and that's all the functionality you have in the app Okay, so the next thing I want to show is remote connectivity on here. So if I drop this down, turn off my Wi-Fi, my data's on, I'll go back up. And what we're going to do, we're just going to come out of the app for a moment. Let's reopen it and give it a second to start up. It's not smart enough to flip between Wi-Fi and data. You've got to restart the app. And you see in the corner at the top, um, the icons change from a Wi-Fi icon to a cloud icon, meaning it's got cloud-based connectivity now. So if I click it, let's give it a moment. My 4G's on, as you can see in the corner. Let's give it some time. It's blacked out for a second as it's attempting to connect. And there you go, it's connected. So let's try and change that temperature. 17 and a half. If we look on the screen, let's give it some time to update. And there you go, 17 and a half. So remote connectivity as well. So really impressed. Okay, let's go back. So that's all the functionality you have. Pretty straightforward to set up and configure. And nice, you've got the cloud-based connectivity without opening any ports on your router. Okay, so you've seen the unboxing and setup of this Wi-Fi thermostat. Very straightforward to set up and configure. I like the fact you can remotely connect to it and turn it on or off or actually keep it just on an automatic setting. Interface is much better to use than the actual panel on the wall. Obviously, I hate these sort of displays. You're just messing around. At least this gives you a bit more functionality and seeing more on the screen in terms of setting the timer. My previous one, I could never be bothered to learn it only because it was just clicking around and it just seemed like a hassle, really. So pleased with the functionality on this. Thing to mention about it is that in terms of using it with something like the Amazon Alexa or the Google Home, it's not compatible with those devices. But obviously it does work standalone, which is sufficient for my needs. So there you go. Details are in the description below. Thanks for viewing and don't forget to like and subscribe.